Hi everybody, once again I am here in Catania, Sicily, Italy and just a message to everybody in Wigan before I get knocked over by the motorbike, don't worry I've got my eyes on it it is really important that we keep our towns market not just for the reasons just to sell the products and the stallholders which is essential but also to be a gathering for our community for our town to come together look how busy this is here in Catania and the vast majority of people that are here today are locals they are people who are traditionally Italian by birth and they have come together they're having a great day out here in Catania and they are enjoying everything that this market has to offer keep an eye out for the full vlog that is coming your way by the way don't forget to like subscribe and ring that little bell for future notification remember it costs you nothing to do so but it means an awful lot to me JT and the rest of the family take care for now and enjoy the vlog I don't want to miss this I'll take you for a little walk down here. I'm not going to go all the way around. This place is absolutely massive. But as I say, you've got all your fruit and veg, lots of screaming going on. Antiques, again, loads of cheese, all the ham and everything. It's cool, this. I really love this. I love the authenticity of it as well. It's just awesome. Lots of locals here. Yeah, there's lots of tourists, but. They don't really stand out, or should I say, they do stand out. And it's the reason I'm saying there's loads of locals because looking around, there's not a great deal of what I would class as tourists. Again, we <laughs> tend to stick it like a sore thumb. Uh, and this is what I like about this place. It's very, very authentic Italian, I have to say. Yeah, really, really nice. I love fresh orange. If you like fresh orange and fruit or the veg, you can't beat this place. I've been all over the world, but look at this. Wow, look at it. Absolutely everything. The food is immense here, by the way. In my opinion, might have been to the taste of everybody. But uh, yeah, look at it, look at this. Class, absolutely brilliant. Look at the size of these oranges. Just look at that. The biggest oranges you've ever seen. All the old traditional churches, very obviously a religious place. Italy, as one would expect. Like I say, looking down here now, it would take me 20 minutes to half an hour to walk around. I just had a walk around before, just to check it out for you. It's just class, but because it's so busy. Yeah, you've just got to kind of like, uh, push to one side if you like, make your way through it the best you can. That's what a lot of these Italians do. They just get in there. Then the, the uh, One second, just letting somebody pass. I'm sorry about that little pausing conversation there, but yeah, they just really just get stuck in. They'll come and have a chat with you. They just move the way forward, and it's like, watch the space. Same with the drivers, by the way, coming over here. My advice: don't get a car. Get somebody else to drive you because listen, the roads over here are pretty damn manic. manic. Um, again, I've been all over the world. They do again drive on the opposite side of the road than what the UK do. Keep that in mind. But they just don't stop. They just literally, when you're doing, when you're walking over a crossing where they're supposed to stop, they're edging the way forward all the time, telling you to basically get out of the way without actually shouting it at you. If that makes sense, so just be careful. That's what I'm saying. All the strawberries, everything here. You get your best prices here, by the way. If you're going to go to a main shop, you're going to pay that little bit more. But if you come to these local markets, it's akin to what you would expect in the UK. Better quality. A better value here, maybe you would pay that bit more in the UK than what you would do going to a, a supermarket, obviously. One of the popular supermarkets without naming supermarkets. But here, it's cheaper. Looking at the prices and trying to do some comparisons. And what I would say is the actual quantity sizes. I mean, just look at these. Green peas, everything, absolutely everything. Good morning, Gracie. Absolutely fantastic. Everybody's saying good morning. 
Everybody's grabbing a coffee. It's quiet. Yeah, it's kind of, it, you know, they're on. You know, they're moving 100 miles over, but at the same time, they know you to have a little bit of a relax as well, and they have a coffee and a chat, and when they need to do something, they just get up and they do it. Have you been here? What's your experience? I'm just trying to give you a bit of an idea, but if you come to Catania, and again, you get these markets all over the world, don't you? Different places, but this very traditional, authentic Italian market, and it's really nice to see, because it's very, very different than where I'm from in the UK and of course I've got views now from all over the world and by the way thank you very much the subscribers are growing now and so is the demographics in relation to the countries where the subscribers are from I really do appreciate it drop me a comment tell me a little bit about yourself where you're from what you like doing is this the kind of thing you're into visiting European countries lots of Americans here by the way very very popular this place look at these Peppers. Wow. Absolutely excellent, aren't they? Fish, obviously fish is very, very popular here. Uh, octopus. Wow. Octopus, squid. Religious aspect there. As I say, very religious place. Very strong Catholics. Loads of history. If you love history, as I do, get yourselves here, look at the strawberries, look at the size of these, wow, I do apologise if the camera's moving a little bit erratically, obviously it's very very busy, I'm just trying to keep a steady hand and just show you some of these things, some, some um, sweet snacks, savoury snacks, all around the place, again very authentic Italian, if you go to the coffee shops they're loaded with them, fresh pastries etc, you name it, garlic, Absolutely everything going on here. All your spices, look at the amazing things down to keep things fresh. Fantastic, fantastic. Cauliflowers, peppers, peppers everywhere. I'm trying to get it all in, sorry for speaking fast, but again, there's so much happening here, I'm just trying to keep up with it. Again, you've been here before? Drop me a message down below. What was your experience of this place? Tell me, where were the points of interest that really Attracted you? Why did they attract you? When you got there, what did you think of it? Whoa! I love seafood. I really do. Mrs. G back at home. Not really into seafood. My children, JT, and the girls. Yeah, they like a little bit of uh, sushi. But uh, Mrs. G... She's not really into seafood as such. She, don't get me wrong, she gives some things to go. And she'll actually like cod and, and things like that. But when you start to look at things in the wider aspect of what's available range-wise within the seafood category, she's not really into it. <laughs> All the butchers here, big massive carving knives. How cool is this? Again, tons of fruit. Just look at the size of this place. Just look at it. It's all going on. By the way, from my neck of the woods, Wigan, we're on about the traditional aspect of having a market and bringing communities together. Wigan, take a look at this. Remember, our history is steeped within the market. Availability for our general public and what it offered to Wigan as an attractive proposition for them to come in and for the community to come together and to be as one this is what it's all about this is what it's all about look at it all the communities coming together these are all locals by the way most of these people here are italians just remember that the marketplace itself back in wigan again steeped in history and it serves more than a purpose than just to serve the products that it sells it was a community gathering. Please remember that. We cannot lose our markets back at home. Keep them. And by the way, to those of you who are the general public, go to them. That is my message. I'll leave that there. 
So I'm going to make my way down here a little bit further now. Look at this. Anybody want a piece of fresh fish? Get into the, my word. Imagine that with some, uh, some vegetables, some nice potatoes cooked freshly. All of the trimmings. Again, I love my seafood. So my eyes are constantly being pulled to one direction because, listen, you're not going to get any uh, fresher than this. All the fresh pasta as well being served here. Speak Italian? What's this guy saying? I have no idea. Right. Again, look at the size of the oranges. And they are so tasty. Okay, that was just a little taste, if you like, of Catania Market. It's literally right in the heart of it. You take a little wonder in Catania, you will find it. Nestled amongst all of these opulent buildings, historical buildings, and they're just full of history. You come to Catania, you come here, pay a visit, and I will tell you this, you cannot not enjoy this place. You will buy products, you'll be attracted into conversation, you'll be welcomed. Culture, very, very different. But it's nice, I like it, I really do. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. A little walk around Catania Market here today. I hope you've enjoyed it, by the way, before I go. I'll leave it on this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for future notification. Remember, it costs you nothing to do so, and it means an awful lot to myself. And of course, JT, when he's on the vlogs. And as you've seen now, the rest of the family take care for now. By the way, this is the other side of the market. This is all the clothes, etc. You've got absolutely everything here. And again, this is just, it's the biggest market I've ever seen. It's absolutely excellent in my opinion. Come and take a look, check it out.